This will be an elephant. Okay, you have to make sure the snout doesn't hit you. So the next one is a simple tag game, but it's very fun because we have a story. So I'm gonna make a little elephant snout, which is easy to do. You use a disc cone, put it on top of a pool noodle. This is gonna be the snout of the elephant. Now, depending on the size of your gym, the smaller the better. You have to adjust on the number of children you uh, teach at the moment. Walk around and children avoid the elephant snout. The safe house. I'm the cat. I try to change this. For you to be safe, you have to run around me and get into the mice my, my hole. Okay, the house. Uh, I'm not sure if all of you fit. Yes. Oh, you can get the idea. Let's try it. <laughs> yes, that's the idea. Yes. Right. The noodle monster tries to tag children who try to get into the safe house without getting tagged. And obviously you want to give children some openings to be able to run to the safe house without getting tagged too often. Thief in the blocks. Yeah, exactly. She's gonna try to Okay? And she can get to the end of the block. And go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you just make it wider. Okay. And for more info about the curriculum, just look at the link in the description right below. Designed blocks as shown with alternating gaps on the right and left side forcing children to run in like a zigzag pattern around the noodles. You might have to set some boundaries on the sides with the noodles as well, if the path cannot be blocked naturally with the walls, like you see on the side, see here. You can either time it or always have two children chase each other with the second child trying to catch his or her partner who has one block head start. So I'm the chicken. Basically, the idea is children need to avoid the, the wings. Okay, it's a wild chicken. I just move around like this. You can make the same noises if you want. Like all the kids need to run away. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, very good. Next one, another fun tag game. This is going to be a crazy chicken. What I use usually is two noodles, two pool noodles, even easier if you have noodles attached to each other. You want to have a certain amount of confined areas where children can't run away too far and they have to avoid the wings of the chicken, which always runs around like wah, 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 wah. The next tag game using snakes, obviously you have to be careful that children are not afraid, is we move two snakes along the floor and children have to move away from the snakes. Pool noodles are very good for this, it's easy to move them around quickly. And again, ideally you have a fairly confined area so children can't run too, way, too far away to make it feasible. So here we have two snakes. Children are in the gym, you need to make sure they don't get bitten. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Try to play like three rows or four rows. Steal the carrot. I'm gonna try and grab it. 
Once I grab it, you can chase me, but this is the end. As soon as I grab it, okay? So I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, take it without you noticing it, and then, uh, yeah. exactly, very good. Exactly. <laughs> All children except one, the farmers, line up on one side of the gym and one child, the rabbit, who tries to steal the carrot on the opposite side. And then to get started, place a hoop fairly close to the group of children or the farmers on the one side of the gym and put half a noodle, the carrot, inside this hoop, which is their field. The rabbit, who tries to steal the carrot, approaches the carrot and decides on his or her own when to grab this carrot and run away. And for more info about the curriculum, just look at the link in the description right below.